from the Pigeon Convention in Peoria, Bert from Sesame Street. I love pigeons, and I love how they walk. And I've created a really cool dance called doing the pigeon. Doing the pigeon. <laughs> Hello and welcome to your Simplified Coin Review. I am your host, BitBoy CryptoFam. Thanks for watching. You guys go ahead and subscribe to the channel to get the alerts. Hit the little bell button. You guys will get notified whenever we have a new video. If this is your first time watching one of our videos, welcome. We certainly appreciate all of you and we really appreciate all of our subscribers. You guys are like family to us. So let's talk about Pigeon Coin. Okay, guys, let's talk Pigeon Coin. If you watched our Raven Coin review, if you haven't, you can go ahead and check that out right here. Watch the review. And we talked a lot about what Ravencoin is. Ravencoin is not really seen, at, uh, seen as a currency per se. It's a token. It's a tokenized way of looking at assets. For instance, uh, if you own shares of a company, uh, right now, currently, if you own shares of a company, then you, know, you don't get emails. You, no one knows that you're a shareholder. But what Ravencoin is trying to do is tokenize ownership of assets and put them on the blockchain. So why am I talking about Ravencoin? Well, Pigeoncoin is a fork off of Ravencoin. So Pigeoncoin is totally different than Ravencoin. Um, it's, it's, it's seeking to do something uh, far beyond what Ravencoin is seeking to do, which may be helpful to you. So not a lot is known about Pigeoncoin. It, it's hard to do research on. It, there isn't there aren't that many places where you can find the info. So right here, as you can see, I want you guys to notice that I am using my Brave browser, just like I told you I would be. So if you haven't downloaded the Brave browser, it's a decentralized browser, better than Chrome, faster. You guys go ahead, you can click uh, down below in the video information, scroll down a little bit and you will find the Brave browser. Support cryptocurrency by supporting decentralized platforms. So I am using the Brave browser, but let's continue to look at Pitchcoin. Here is a logo. I like the logo. The logo is pretty cool. Uh, I think that, you know, a good logo goes a long way with a coin as far as identification and branding goes. But right here, you'll see it says it's not yet trading on any of the exchanges we have integrated with. But it does have some information if you scroll down here. And you look at, uh, and if you look here at the bottom, you'll see some people hating on Pigeon Coin, which is okay. We, we really don't know the stability of this project yet. So, Look at the details, you'll see the max supply is 21 billion, which isn't too bad. It's a proof of work uh, consensus, which is on the Bitcoin blockchain, or the Satoshi blockchain, if you will. Uh, you can follow them at Pigeoncoin on Twitter. We'll go ahead and open that up here too. Um, block number, it's on block number 50,069. It has the hash rate there, and the current supply right now is 200 and. 50 million, so way far away from 21 billion. Okay, so let's scroll over to the Pigeon Coin website, and you'll see right at the top, it says, it has a little quote here. It says, Pigeons have facilitated communication for thousands of years. Today, in a technological era where the gathering of data supersedes privacy and ownership, the need for Pigeon arises. Pigeon Coin is a cryptocurrency which will work as part of a secured communications platform, that's important, with seamless payments and fully verified participants. All data and transactions will be kept secure between trusted parties. So it says it was launched on March 21st. Uh, it had it uses the X16S algorithm. I'm trying to learn a little bit more about mining. I may get into mining this coin. Um, I, I heard the algorithm is getting a little bit harder, so I might wait for something else. But that is the algorithm that it that it uses. And down at the bottom, you can find their Discord channel, their GitHub. Uh, their Telegram, their Twitter, their wallet, um, and some other information. So as we go to the purposes page here, it's important that I reference what we just looked at, which is that this is a messaging app is what they want. They want a messaging, a decentralized app that involves messaging, which is why it's called Pigeon Coin. Pigeons, of course, you may have heard of homing pigeons or carrier pigeons. They're used to carry things, which I think is interesting because we know Ravencoin, as we talked about in our review, was named Ravencoin because of um, the three-eyed raven that uh, can see all in 
Game of Thrones, but also ravens are used in that in the Game of Thrones world in Westeros to carry messages back and forth. So, you know, Pigeon Coin is about carrying messages, but it's an offshoot of Raven, and that's also what Ravens do in that world. So I think that's kind of a cool thing. So let's look at the concept. Uh, the Satoshi blockchain is the most reliable public ledger, basically just saying they're going to be using Bitcoin's blockchain. Communication drives society. Uh, it requires verifiable participants, freedom from censorship, and the certainty of public or private conversation. So think about this. How many times have you ever wanted to send a message to someone and maybe it was about something really personal and you thought, man, I hope nobody else sees this because if they do, then I'd be embarrassed or I would be in trouble or, you know, whatever it might be. And so that's what is driving Pigeon Coin is, you know, it's not that we want to communicate bad messages with each other. We just want to feel like we have some sense of privacy. So cryptocurrencies must be used to become real money, ease of access for consumers, and merchants drive use, creating payment velocity. This allows price discovery, resulting in reduced volatility and stable price. Okay, so, well, I guess we'll talk about the purpose too, because uh, these purposes and the concepts really work together. So purpose, build Pigeon Coin into a robust cryptocurrency, facilitate communication, grease rails of payment. Okay, so let me break this down, what they're trying to do here. Okay, I know... Just sometimes when you're dealing with these coins, it, they use a lot of big words and, you know, it, it's just difficult to understand what they're saying. But this is what Pigeon Coin is and what they're trying to do. Okay, Raven Coin is a token. Raven Coin is going to digitalize ownership of assets, right? Okay, Pigeon Coin, on the other hand, is going to be a straight cryptocurrency. Pigeon Coin is a coin that's going to be used specifically to pay people for things to transfer money if you will value to people so what they're trying to do is they're trying to create an app okay a decentralized app where people will be able to communicate privately and where not only will they be able to communicate privately they can pass funds back and forth to each other privately without anyone knowing that they're passing money back and forth with of course, you'll be able to see it on a public ledger, but you won't know who the people are that are transferring money. And they're going to do this through that messaging app. And what they wanted, they're going to be integrating the Lightning Network, the Seg- SegWit Network. And so the the transfer of value between people on the messaging app will be very fast. It'll be seamless. And I think that's a, that's a pretty cool goal for this place. I mean, we see a lot of, you know, we, we have seen other coins that are trying to do something similar, but at the same time, it seems like Pigeon Coin really hasn't nailed down exactly what they want to do. With a lot of these smart economies, if you will, and these platforms that we've been looking at in our coin reviews, you know, everything's kind of vague what they want to do. But with Pigeon Coin, they're pretty specific. So I, I got to say, I do like that. So if you're in the mining community, you can go to their mining page. This, if you use a NVIDIA, these are the GPU um, softwares that you can use Nevermore, Superminer, and of course, AMD Avermore or Avermore. I'm not really sure. And this is the Pigeon Coin pools that you can join. So let's jump over to the team. The first thing you'll notice when you see the team is that Ryan Gosling is not on it. Hey, girl. But just a quick look at their team. You will see there is a man with a beard as the founder. You can always trust a man with a beard. So I think the team looks good. Truth is, I have no idea who they are. But you can go to their LinkedIn profiles from the website and check them out. Okay, so where can you trade Pigeon Coin? Well, right now, the only place to trade it is on Crypto Bridge. So I am here. We will try to pull it up. I'll show you guys how I got to it. But um, we're just going to go right past this. We're going to go to Explore. We're going to go to Assets. And see, when I was here on Smart Coins and typed in Pigeon Coin, it didn't come up. So I've never used this exchange before. It's decentralized, like I said. So we're going to click user issued assets and type in PGN for the symbol. Hit exchange. The numbers look about right. So here it is. We're going to go to the exchange and it's going to pull up here in just a second. So. It, it hasn't been trading long on here, as you can see. Um, it looks like just since the 11th. 
So it's really hard to make sense out of this chart because there's only a couple days worth of trading. So we're, we're going to let this chart kind of ride out before we really know anything. But this is what I found on Reddit. I found someone on Reddit basically saying that they were able to get on Crypto Bridge and they were able to trade their uh, pigeon coin for about 40 Satoshis. So 40 Satoshis is about a third of a penny, if you will. So some people were saying the number is closer to 80 Satoshis, which would be about half a penny, approximately a little bit over half a penny. So that's about what it's trading for now. But of course, it's not on any major exchanges or even any minor exchanges. You have to go to this really obscure decentralized exchange to find it. So where could it go? Who really knows? All right, so let's just check out their Twitter as we open just a little bit ago. You will see that uh, their last uh, tweet was on April 11th. Pigeon Coin is now live on our official exchange. Crypto Bridge trading pairs with Ravencoin, Litecoin, and Bitcoin. As you can see, they tweet. They were tweeting every day, it seemed like, uh, a couple weeks ago. But now they, they're kind of tweeting about once a week or once every five days. So I don't really like that. I wish they'd be a little more active, especially because there's just so many people wanting to know about this coin right now. And it seems like it's hard to find information. So I, I would like Pigeon Coin to put out some more information about itself. Okay, so final thoughts on Pigeon Coin. Here's what I like. I like that they seem to have a goal in mind for where they're going. What I don't like, I don't like it seems like their marketing isn't very strong right now. It's hard to find information on and it's hard to trade. But what we've seen with a lot of coins is that, you know, because of the barrier to entry to the coins, there are fewer people that are able to come in and kind of scoop up all the coins at a low price. And if it ever is able to march toward its goal, if it is ever able to get on an exchange, then we would probably see the price go up a lot. And if you get something at 40 Satoshis, which is a third of a penny, and it even goes to 10 cents, well, hey, you've made like 30 times on your money or, you know, 33 times, something like that. So um, I think that that is the plus. It's a risk versus reward right now with Pigeon Coin. Now, if you have an extra miner or you have an extra computer you can mine on, it is GPU mineable, then... You know, that's not, I would go ahead and do it if y'all were you. If you know how to do this, Pigeon Coin seems like something you could accumulate a lot right now. And I know that the algorithm did just get a touch harder uh, recently. So you, you're not getting quite as many coins as you were at first. But if you look at Ravencoin, uh, you know, it had a similar thing. So if I found a guy who said he was getting 10,000 Ravencoins a day, or maybe he got 10,000 Ravencoins over the first four days, something like that. And then it got harder, and then everybody jumped on it. So. Um, you know, right now, mining is where it's at with Pigeon Coin. It, it's really hard to buy. So, I, I, if you're interested in mining, that's the route I would go with Pigeon Coin right now. If not, then, you know, you may just want to move on from this coin and, and not worry about it until it does get on exchange so you can buy it. So, I hope this review has been helpful. I hope that we, I think we did a good job today of simplifying uh, this coin for you so you understand it. It's, it's a message of, the future of this coin is a messaging app where you can send money back and forth on the app itself uh, with, with privacy and without anybody knowing. So that's a pretty cool thing I like for this app in the future. Uh, we'll see if they get there. Just like with Internet of Services token that we talked about, who knows if they'll get there. They have a good roadmap. You know, they, they have a plan. Uh, Pigeon Coin hasn't released their roadmap yet, but they have a plan for where they're going. Will they get there? I just don't know. So let us know your thoughts about Pigeon Coin below. If you got any more questions, go ahead and ask them. We'll try to find the best answer for you on that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit the alert button so you get notifications of when we have new videos. And that was your Simplified Corner View.